On this edition of In Focus, we return to the Denver Center Theater Company for a world premiere from last year's Colorado New Play Summit. Just Like Us by Karen Zacarias follows four Latinas in Denver as immigration status begins to erode their opportunities and their friendships. The play is based on Helen Thorpe's best-selling book, and it tells a true Denver story. We met the delightful actresses bringing the characters to life on their final day of previews. I appreciate you coming in a little bit early before your final preview. Yes. 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 Tomorrow night's opening. Yes. yes. Very excited <laughs> to get there. So am I. I'm, yeah. I'm so thrilled that we're getting a chance to see this work brought more fully to life. Mm -hmm. Because when we saw it last year at the Colorado New Play Summit, it was one of my top picks. In fact, Yet again this year, I successfully predicted all the shows they would select. Oh, oh nice. And this had to be one. Don't you agree? With yes. This? I know you weren't here for, for the, um, the reading last year. Yeah. How did you get connected to this project? Uh, totally by accident. I self-submitted. I wasn't even invited to audition, but I read for the, uh, for the casting director. And they offered me an audition after they saw me read with the other auditioners, and, and they got the role. Oh. Wow. How did yeah. you even hear about it? Backstage. And from backstage? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you I, live in New York? I do live in New York. Right. Yeah, I don't have an age. Well, I do now, but at the time I did Did you hear that? Oh, I do now. <laughs> yeah. Well, this job actually got me the agent. Yeah. Um, it's hard to get an agent in New York, and so I had to do my own, a lot of my own work. So backstage, actors, access, like yeah. all the stuff, all the submissions on my own. And I've done pretty well on my own, but... I'm hoping to do better now. Just watch Help. out. Just watch out. Right? <laughs> is, it, is it hard as a Latina actress to find material that, that feeds you and challenges you in this way? Oh, completely. Yeah. Yes, especially with an accent <laughs> like <laughs> mine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, stereotypical um, roles that are really small and very stereotypical. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot of... Um, opportunity to explore and do a, a, an important role or, or something more meaty or, or, you know, that sort of thing that, that, that actually allows you to grow as an actress and, and, and tell show a real story. Got. Exactly. Not exactly. just that this is based on real events and real okay. people, but it's, yes. these are real lives you're talking about, mm -hmm. not just because they're based in real, uh, you know, on real people, but because these are real emotions and real yes. issues. It'd be easy to, to mistake this as a political play. Right. I don't think of it as a political play, but I wonder how each of you would describe Just Like Us. I think it's about uh, relationships, um, friendship, and the resilience of the human spirit. Mm -hmm. I think these women, these girls, had a lot of obstacles in their way, like millions of people in this country do. Um, and they are just determined to be all that they can be right. in this country of opportunities, even though this country is kind of like um, hell-bent right now. Can I say hell here? You should uh, <laughs> on, on, on squashing that sort of, uh, that spirit. And uh, these... Some people are determined to squash it. I think that's fair to say. Some people I are. Think, I think most people just don't see these girls. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. that's just what this I play does. What happens. Yeah. It just gives people insight into what, what their path is or, you know, walk... Um, there's a saying where is it don't judge the don't judge the journey if you haven't walked the path or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I mean it's an opportunity for someone to just be like, all right, let me see these girls, let me see what they go through, let me put myself in their shoes, and and try to understand them. I, I think that's a wonderful wonderful thing, you know, for for this play to be able to do for people. It's easy to try to glorify these young women because they they do struggle so hard. They do put education first. But first and foremost, they're young girls. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they just want to get an education. Yeah. And have a little fun and get in yeah. a little trouble. Yeah. They're real girls. Right. They're yeah. real girls, but they're smart and they worked really hard all their lives. So it just so happened that their circumstances gave them like these, you know, these obstacles. But they were already like working hard, smart, you know, getting ahead. They just... They just have this hovering over them, over them. And the thing is that they represent millions of people. Yes. That's the thing. It's Latina like and non-Latina. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's 
beautiful because uh, they're unique in their personalities, but it's they represent millions of people in this country, and it gives a, a face and a name and, and just sheds light on the uh, human side of the right. story. What is it like to portray these young women as high school girls uh, mm -hmm. when for some of you, high school may be a little further uh, back than others. <laughs> and, and then, yeah. I mean, what? when I graduated last year. <laughs> it's been really fun, I think. It's, yeah. it's Well, at least for me, my character is really out there. There's a lot of energy around this character, and it just allows me to go back. And uh, I was actually... I'm actually not very much like that character in a lot of senses, but it just has allowed me to to go there and just you know be be as bright and as loud and as uh, fun as I could ever be. So it's been really fun. And these girls are close friends. Yes, yes. very close, and they, they really challenge each other as much as they help each other. They yeah. challenge and support and keep each other going, and that's part of the, of the journey is how you see these four girls who are completely equals, um, except for their uh, legal status in this country, and how that ends up also affecting their friendships as they get closer and closer. Into, and how they see each other yeah. throughout the path of, of the play, you know. They start to see each other the same way people who don't know them see them a little bit. In some ways. In some ways, and yes, I think they start realizing that um, it was more hope, that, that their equality was more of a hope, you know, it was, yeah. Hopeful. The reality. And the reality hits, and they understand that, that they are really not that equal. And that's are. a frustrating part, because they are equals, except yep. for these documents. <laughs> yeah. But it's a world apart, you know. They, yeah. They, yeah. They live in two different worlds even though they live in the same country. When we started we, we talked about what it would be like as a Latina actress to try to find challenging material. This past season on television there was um, a chance for Latina actresses to really work on a program called Devious Maids. Have you heard of it? <laughs> yeah, I've watched the whole thing. And there was a lot of controversy about that show before anyone even saw a single moment of the show. Yes. And there's a, there's a potential that there could be that kind of resistance or ch controversy about this piece before they come and meet you. Yeah. How would you answer that? How would you encourage people to, to not think of this in terms of what might be controversial? but what might be good theater and good storytelling? I think like part of the message of the play is about opening um, your heart and opening your eyes to somebody else's story and to not be so quick to judge. Um, so that's what I would recommend. Um, I was asked about Devious Mains because uh, I was on a TV show and uh, and Judy Reyes is one of my friends, and I was like, I think people were like hoping I would say something negative. I'm like, it hasn't even aired. And they're giving opportunities to these great Latina actresses and also to writers. I think Tanya said I chose a writer yeah. right? mm -hmm. on that show there as were well. La so Latino women helping to create it, and yeah. everyone so knows each other. Way. Like when you get to a certain point, and yeah. like everyone yeah, knows each other, other. so Same you want to support them. Of course, exactly. And yeah. I think the most important thing as well is to see the positive side of things, you know. Number one, there were two Latina writers in that show, mm -hmm. and... Uh, and a Latina wrote this show. And a Latina wrote we're this show. We're very fortunate that a Latina mm -hmm. wrote exactly. this play. Exactly. In that show, there are like the main actresses are all Latinas, and in this show as well. And even though certain stereotypes, you know, sort of like come through, the good thing is that we're telling stories that matter. You know, the, we're, we're showing the human side of, of, of these characters and it, it's about humanity and it's about what makes us equal, which is actually, it's what makes us equal, which is actually <laughs> our humanity, you know, and that's the most important thing. And we are fighting for this to be a tr as truthful, exactly. as real as could be. And I know personally, Tania Saracho, so I know that she is fighting for that to be the same mm -hmm. in the in the show, you know? So I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think like if anyone is hesitant to be like, oh, how are we gonna be represented on stage or how what are they gonna do with this piece since it's based on a book which has so much information. Mm -hmm. I think that um, the Denver Center artistic staff, 
all of us, Karen, Karen we, we're trying really hard to create really authentic, genuine moments on stage. And the first responsibility is just be true to the character and the storytelling, regardless of whether they're right. Latina or not. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of humor in the play too. Oh, which is there's true. so much. Yeah. It's it's funny and it's emotional and it's truthful and, and it, it's so so good. And after meeting um, some of the real characters, you just want to be, you know, loyal to them and to their story. And to me, that's the most important thing. I wish we had more time to talk about what it was like to meet those women that you're playing. We'll have to save that for maybe our follow-up when, yes. when we come back to the again. And, I, and I'm so excited to finally get to see you tomorrow night yeah. for your you opening. There. Thanks for letting me take some of your time this morning. Thank, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The world premiere of Just Like Us is playing at the Denver Center Theater Company. Visit denvercenter.org for all the details and ticket information. This play runs through November 3rd at the Stage Theater.